Hello everyone, let's solve one question which has been asked in the AKTU examination 2017-18. It is asking us to convert the given Mealy machine to the Mure machine. So here you can see it say, see that the uh, states which are there are Q1, Q2 and Q3. The input alphabet sets are 0 and 1 and the output alphabet sets are Z1 and Z2. Fine. So uh, we can either do it uh, using the uh, table or we can perform this conversion using the diagram also. So let's design a table for this. So the states are Q1, Q2 and Q3. The input symbols are 0 and the 1. So Q1 on getting a 0 goes to Q2 and produces the output Z1. And Q1 on getting the input 1, it goes to Q3 state and it produces the output Z1. So Q2 state on 0 goes to Q2 state only and it produces the output Z2. And uh, Q2 state on getting a symbol 1 goes to Q3 state and it produces the output Z1. Now Q3 state on uh, getting a symbol 0 it goes to Q2 state and it produces the output Z1 and Q3 state on getting a symbol 1 goes to Q3 state and it produces the output Z2. So based on the table, you can actually analyze that uh, how the conversion can be done. So if I analyze the different states here in this table, then you can first look at the Q1 state and what is the output associated. So you can see that there is no output associated with the Q1. So Q1 is the only one state. And if I go for the state number Q2, so there are one this transition, one this transition and one this transition. In one of the transition, the output is Z1 and the other one, the output is Z2. So I need to have the two uh, states corresponding to Q2. One is, let's say, Q2Z1, and let's say the another state is Q2Z2. So there are two states required for Q2 in the Moodle machine. One that produces output Z1 and the other one that produces output Z2. I have just renamed this as Q2Z1 that produces the output Z1 and Q2Z2 that produces the output Z2. Similarly, uh, if I look at the Q3 state, so Q3 here is producing the output Z1. Here it is producing output Z1 and here it is producing the output Z2. So I need to have two different Q2, Q3 states, one that produces the output Z1 and other state that produces the output Z2. So let's design the table for this. So the table for uh, the Mure machine will have Q1 state, which is the start state, then Q2, Z1 state, Q2, Z2 state, then Q3, Z1 state, and Q3, Z2 state. Then let's make the entries in this table. So the in transitions are required from 0 and 1, and every state will produce some output, let's say, that is denoted by the delta. So now uh, Q1 state is producing the output referring to the table. We can say that Q1 is not producing any output. Now Q2, Z1 will produce the output Z1, Q2, Z2 will produce the output Z2, Q3, Z1 will produce output Z1, and Q3, Z2 will produce the output Z2. Now, if I get uh, 0, I go to Q2 state, and uh, Q2 state, that produces the output Z1. So I'll say that it goes to Q2, Z1. So Q1 on getting a 1, it goes to Q3 state that produces the output Z1. So I'll say that this is Q3, Z1. Then Q2, Z1. So Q2, Z1, uh, upon getting a symbol 0, it will go to Q2 state only and that produces the output Z2. So I'll say that this is Q2, Z2. And uh, Q2 on getting 1 goes to the state Q3 that produces the output Z1. So it will be Q3, Z1. Similarly, Q2, Z2 is actually the Q2 state. So it will have the same transition as, as that of the Q2, Z1. So these are the transitions 
for Q3 Z1, uh, I'll, I will refer to this row in the um, milli machine transitions. So Q3 Z1 on getting a zero symbol goes to Q2 that produces output Z1. So I'll write here as Q2 Z1. And on getting symbol one, it goes to Q3 that produces the output Z2. So I'll say that this will be Q3 Z2. Now Q3 Z2 is the same as here as that of the Q3 Z1. So I'll write here as Q2 Z1, the same transition as this one. And Q3 Z2, the same transition as this one. So this is actually the state transition table of the Mure machine. And you have seen that conversion of the Mealy machine to the Mure machine is easier through the table method than analyzing each of the state in the state transition diagram. But your answer will be incomplete unless you draw the complete state transition table. So this is the complete state transition table. I will have to draw the state transition diagram also. So let's say that I'm starting from the Q1 state and on getting a symbol zero, I go to a state which is named as Q2 Z1. And what is the state, what is the output associated with this? This is Z1. So now I'm getting zero, I'm going here. Now I'm on getting uh, one, I'll go to Q3 Z1 state. So what is the output associated with this? This is Z1. Now, uh, if I'm at Q2 Z1 state, it goes to Q2 Z2 state, which produces the output Z2 on getting a symbol zero. And uh, Q2 Z1 state goes to Q3 Q Z1 state, I mean this one, on getting a symbol one. So I have made this transition. So, yeah, this is wrong from this one. Okay. So it goes to this state on one. Now, if I'm referring to this uh, row, it is saying that Q2 Z2 on getting the input zero remains at itself. And on getting one, it goes to this state. Now I'm referring to this one. This is the Q3 Z1 state that says that it goes to Q2 Z1 on getting a zero. On getting one, it goes to Q3 Z2. So there is another state which is Q3 Z2, which produces the output Z2. If I'm referring to this row, it says that Q3 Z2 on getting zero, it goes to Q2 Z1. So it goes to Q2 Z1 on getting a symbol zero and it remains at itself on getting the symbol one. So this is the Mude machine for the given Mealy machine. So this completes the answer. I hope you must have understood this and you can solve any of the question asked in the examination. Thanks for watching.